Hey, Jason Moss here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up an email box on your WPX hosting domain. All right, so it's very simple. Um, first, you're going to log into your WPX hosting account. Um, you'll see a screen like this, and then you can click on a number of different ways to get there. Um, we'll hit service management there. And once we have this pull up, we want to manage all the sites in the account. All right, and this is the main page that we want, okay, where it shows us all these options over here on the left hand side. So it's very simple, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend setting up an email box to run like your whole business on. I would almost always recommend, recommend G Suite for that. Um, but there's certain instances where you would want an email box just built into, you know, your hosting account, um, you know, for smaller stuff. So it's very simple. You're going to click on email boxes here. And once it pulls up, you'll see that there's no email boxes in this account yet. All right. So we just add an email box and we have this pop up. Let's just do Jason. So it'll be Jason at jwmoss.com that's the domain I have if you're looking for a different one you're gonna hit this drop down and find the domain that you want okay but we're doing jwmoss.com real name you can just put your name and then aliases you don't have to put anything in here um, this is also a very cool feature that you can set up a catch-all for this email address just with one click Okay, so if I click this here, it puts that under the alias. So now any email that is sent to at jwmoss.com, it could be help at jwmoss or info at jwmoss, or it could be a typo. It could just be, you know, something like this um, at jwmoss.com. It's all going to be redirected to my inbox jason at jwmoss.com so i can put a whole bunch of different email addresses out there on forms and whatnot they're all going to come back to this one email box okay which is a pretty awesome feature okay now for this you can set it to whatever you like i usually just um, do up to the limit just so in case something crazy comes through that i don't get blocked for some reason um, forward emails too this is where um, you want the emails forwarded to um, because you can check your emails on like a external uh, like on, in a gmail account if you want um, you know that, that's kind of up to you for this I'll, I'll just put jason at mostech.org okay which is a, a g suite account that i have all right password um, i'll just generate one here and then I'll copy it okay and then send settings to so it's gonna send your directions and settings to an email of your choice so I'll send it to my other email account and then you just hit submit all right and there we go it, it is created um, so we can X out of that now we can hop on over to that email account where we had everything forwarded over to the directions that is and there it is there is an email from WPX we click on that and here are the directions now I'll have this email box deleted uh, before this video is uploaded so don't even bother trying to log into it it's it's not going to exist um, but here you go, it gives you username and then the password that we just generated, which I copied. And this is the link to the email box. So we can click on this. And it logged us right in. And of course, there's no email in here. Okay. Um, let's see, we can double check that catch all as well we can go back over to the email client let's compose and let's do well first we'll try the normal email client just to make sure it's all working all right send 
and then it should come through here fairly quick and there we go there is the email all right perfect and then we can double check that that catch all works of course so like I was saying you can we never made a, a box for help at jwmoss.com right but I can put that out there on like a an email form if I wanted to perhaps or, or something like that testing the catch all testing all right we'll hit send and then of course even though that inbox does not exist that'll get automatically redirected over to this account so there it is testing the catch-all you can see it was sent to help at jwmoss.com but it still came through to this email account so that is how you set up a email uh, box there on your WPX hosting account very very simple um, if you have questions or comments of course let me know below I'm happy to help out thanks guys